Yeah, why not? And yeah, we'll end it about 25 seconds early. Hello, beautiful, 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 exceptionally beautiful people. How you doing, guys? And gals and girls, ladies. Check out that. Raise the bar shirt. Shout out to Chelsea. Uh, how is everybody doing? It's Monday. It's not the usual live stream night. But as you may know, if you're not aware, uh, I did stay at the uh, infamous YouTube house last weekend um, for the uh, LA Fit Expo, which is awesome. And um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty. It was, I mean, it was awesome. I'm not going to say pretty cool. I'm going to say pretty awesome. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that the internet there, the Wi-Fi there wasn't the greatest, so I wasn't able to live stream. And I was actually training at a very famous gym anyways during that um, during that entire process. So shout out to uh, Mackenzie for being in the chats. We have Dylan, Fernando, who's another regular. Um, who else is in the live chat? Da, 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 da. We have 51 watching right now. I love how everybody's laying down the ground rules of what's forbidden to be asked. Um, Stella, hello Stella, I know you're a regular as well. Um, <coughs> Timmy, <coughs> Tim the Baba Daba is in the chat. Hello Tim, you were uh, dearly missed at the expo, Tim. I might come to the uh, to the Arnold though, so I don't know if you'll be there, but it would be awesome to see you. My brother from another mother. Um, who else? In the channel? Um, Dylan's already asking about the LA Fit Expo. No snaps from Rebecca Mel tonight. Mm. Sorry about the Mario Bros music, guys. It's one of my favorite songs, though. Vegan shenanigans, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Tim is calling me a slut right now. It's not very nice, Tim. Happy Australia Day from Bearded Gaines. Hello. That name sounds familiar. Madison Killer. Shout out to Madison. She's another regular. Harry's already asked me what I think about Rich Piano. Um, yeah, today was my first day of classes, guys. It kind of sucks. Um, yeah. World class douchebag. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? 62 people watching right now. While everybody still kind of comes in the chat, I will uh, show you guys what I'm rocking with tonight. Um, and also, guys, stay tuned for the next um, uh, video. I'll be hopefully I'll be working on part two tonight. I don't know if I'll get it out tonight, but uh, this live stream might be a little um, delayed or shortened. You want to say? But uh, it's pretty usual, guys. We have more over here as well. I have a shit ton of broccoli tonight. I'm just extra, extra hungry. Uh, tofu, like usual. And, of course, you guys know what's next. Because I haven't had pizza in way too long. Why wouldn't I make pizza? Why would I not make that delicious thing that we all know Eric loves? Oh, gosh. Hot, like always, and I'm using technically, I'm not using oven mitts, I'm using like an oven, whatever it's called. Whew. Hello, and um, so no whole wheat flour anymore. I'm actually going to be trying out to see how chewy it comes out. Um, if I like the texture of just normal white flour, so this is just normal white flour. Right there. Of course, say hello to being on camera, everybody. Say hello. Next vlog. Of course, if you guys did a video, your pizza, it never came out, it never happened, it was never eaten. It's the rules of food porn, guys.
the game. Ah, well, what's everybody saying? Favorite all-time soda is definitely going to be, right now, Diet Cranberry Syrup Mist. Brooke W wants to know why I ignore her on IG. Don't know what you're talking about. I don't really ignore people unless I don't see their comments. Um, everybody's just saying hi to the camera. What's my Snapchat? I really would think you should guess onto that. Do I ever get tired of having to video everything? Hell yeah. This weekend was a perfect example of it. Um, a perfect, I don't even know if that's the right word to use as example, but oh my goodness, it gets so annoying. But, ugh. And um, it's going to get even harder if I continue to make videos as, <clears throat> you guys will see my next vlog that um, with the class schedule, I literally just got out of class probably about, um, an hour ago, and it's actually I got out early. Um, my classes on my live stream nights actually run until um, I literally go from noon until 8:30 on my days off from work. So the live streams are probably going to be a little different, not going to be as long. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of things differently as the semester goes on. So I really just want to prioritize my education a lot more this semester. So I'm sorry to have to be the bearer of bad news for everybody, but it's just, you know, it's gonna be good for me though. I feel like we getting out of school, I'll be finally getting graduated, which is the goal. And on to the next stage of life. The next stage of life. Whatever that may look like, I have no idea. I also have no idea where my pants is falling apart right now. <laughs> Shit all over my hands, but hey. It's pretty glorious, guys, I have to say. <laughs> pretty glorious. Now, like I said earlier, I don't know. Why is the bachelor on TV? Um, I do not know if this will be a longer live stream, how it's going to look, but I figured I'd just, again, say hi to everybody because I did not make one, um, and I don't know if I'm going to make one on Wednesday. I don't even know if I'm going to do challenges. I'm just so overwhelmed right now. Um, really overwhelmed. Uh, yes, I would come to your funeral for Funeral if you died, Mackenzie. Uh, shout out to Vegan Shenanigans. I appreciate you noticing my work ethic. Um, what happens to me when there's a blackout? I have no idea. I have no idea. The Rich, Rich Piana snap was epic. Yeah, guys, I saw Rich Piana. Rich Piana was the first person that I saw at the expo getting out of his car, going into it. I was like, holy shit, that's crazy. But if you guys watched my latest video, you'd know that already. You'd know that. Um, avoid adulthood, it blows. Indeed it does, Tim. Indeed it does. I wish I had your job, though. I would love, wait, I don't know if you still have your chocolate job or not, but I fucking love that. Um, David says, Eric with a C. Why are you so skinny? Why are you so skinny, bro? Why are you so skinny? Brooke W asked, why did you stop being vegetarian? I'm not sure um, what's giving you that impression, but. Uh, what was the best sample I tried at the expo? Oh gosh, you guys will see. There's a, there's a little something in the works. I actually have a challenge slash contest I did. Oh, and a fantastic follow-up question by Jay Basketball. Do you recommend Quest Bars as a healthy bar to eat? Yes, I do, because I have so many fucking samples right now. And yes, the word fucking perfectly applies to this, because these are just literally sitting here as that question popped up. So that's going to give you a... Um, 
that's my answer right there. Yes. Um, and my answer, well, my answer, real answer is going to be um, Cinnamon Roll. The Cinnamon Roll is the best flavor. I was going to show you guys these anyways, but, um, but yeah. So. And of course, guys, you know, it's going to be the live on camera pizza taste test, like always, for the live stream. Like always. And you guys can see how that looks. Yep. A little garlic salt on the crust. And some money. Okay, so now we get down to business. Get down to business. Uh, favorite part of the Expo is meeting subscribers by far. I had so many cool people come up. Well, not so many, but because I'm not going to make myself sound like this really popular guy because I'm not at all. Like, I, if anything, being at the Expo made me realize like how no one really knows me, <laughs> which is cool. But best part was meeting you guys. Shout out to Jordan. Oh, Tim might transfer to California in the future. Ooh. Well, Tim, if you do, I have a gigantic one bedroom apartment, not meaning that you can sleep in that one bed, but if you need a roommate, I'm your boy. Mackenzie hates the banana girl and wants to punch her out the window. Attack on Tuna, the YouTube house makes me want to go to the LA Fit Expo next year. Well, you should have went this year because it was awesome. No, I'm not serious. Well, I'm kind of serious, but... Um, there's no guarantees that it's going to be in LA next year, so I don't really know. Froil the bars, freeze them, then broil. It's so damn good. I don't know what that means. I've legit, maybe it's just a typo. I've never heard of foiling anything. Does Rich Piana have a mental disorder? I was thinking about avoiding answering this question. Um, most bodybuilders have mental disorders. And, that, and by that, I mean body dysmorphia. No, I do not drink beer, David. Daniel Slater says, I never read any of my com any of his comments out loud. I just read your comment. Are you happy now? Have I tried any of the Flavor God seasonings? No, but if anybody wants to send me some, oh, please do that because I really want to try them. I'm not going to talk about Freely because I've already expressed my views on her in the past. Damn it, this moves so fast. So fast. Did I become obsessed with Lara bars? Yes, but only the apple pie. The apple pie is the best.
I started eating a lot of veggies at night. Your oven me method, it's delicious, but I've been waking up at least two times to pee. How many times do I wake up per night? I don't usually wake up. It's not. It's likely not the vegetables that are making you wake up to pee. It's probably your fluid consumption. Shout out to Nathan Figueroa. He's in a live stream. What's up, brother? Mirin, your latest um, Q&A video. Man's a fucking champion. Everybody go check out Nathan's channel. Yeah, Nathan, send me some Panda Express. That sounds so good right now. Rebecca thinks everybody can live with me. I guarantee you 90% of you could not live. Actually, 99% of you could not live with me. Eric, favorite flavor of Quest Bar? I just said cinnamon roll. Thank you for everybody for answering for it. Oh, shots fired by Tim. Nate doesn't know cold. Neither do I. I mean, to be honest, though, Check out the crisp on that Brussels sprout. Um, being in the 30s in California is pretty damn cold. I don't care what everybody says. Nate had five Subway sandwiches for dinner. Is that what this is, Nate? You're going to come in here and brag? Is that a challenge, bro? I was actually going to do the Togo's challenge. Apparently, they have like a two foot long sandwich. Um, I called him up and I'm like, hey, I heard you guys have a, a challenge. And he's like, yeah, we do. I'm like, perfect. So, what's the, uh, what, what is it? He's like, well, you come in and fill out a waiver and then you fill out another waiver. This is exactly like how it went. You fill out a waiver and um, you sign it. We make the sandwich. I'm like, awkward silence. I'm like, cool. So, what do I get? He's like, oh, you get the sandwich. I'm like, oh, perfect. Um, and I'm like, that's just the sandwich. He's like, yeah, you get the sandwich, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, I can give you a hat too. I'm like, oh, sounds cool. I'm like, so, um, how much does the sandwich cost? He's like, oh, it's twenty eight bucks. I'm like, oh, cool. So, um, how much? I'm just curious. How much does it cost you guys to make it? He's like, not too too much, but I'm like, okay. Um, he's like, yeah. So you you just pay for it. I'm like, so do I get my refund and everything like that after I get the sandwich? And he's like, what about what refund for what? I'm like, dude, you have no idea. That was my old story. Um, what Cellucor products do I use? Pretty much all of them except the fat burners. Why would I, why would I, mean, why would I want to meet Jerry Ward? You guys are pretty and perpetuates the dumbest nutritional myths of the law. I suggest you watch more of his videos before making assumptions like that. Shout out to Grant. Your videos are, are awesome. You've inspired me to keep working out and strive for my goals. Thank you. Kaylee D says my videos are addicting. That's an awesome compliment. I had a subscriber tell me that at the expo this weekend. That was really cool to hear. Ninety-two people watching right now. Wow. Do I prefer protein bars or shakes? I actually prefer neither. Neither. And also, guys, how about how about that fresh business card? I didn't hand out. I didn't hand out one business card at the expo this weekend. Shout out to Nolan Taylor, who's um, down to two hundred five pounds. So, um, congrats, bro! Almost said, almost said subscribe for some reason. <laughs> Tim wants me to do the thousand carbs challenge. He's gonna do it in Sherbert. Stay safe, bro. Stay safe. Tim, there are so many ways 
more, there's so many more delicious ways to get a thousand carbs in, like Cinnabon. <laughs> Shots fired, bro. Shots fired. I'm just kidding, dude. Um, yeah, but I still stand by my original statement. Damn, Chad just moves way too fast right now. Matt Stoney or Furious Pete? Are you trying to ask me which one I'm more sexually attracted to, or which one is better, or which one can eat more? Which one would I like to challenge? I don't know. Mackenzie, your flirt game is always on. You're, it's always strong. Don't worry. Thoughts on vegan gains. He's hilarious. Oh, what's on my TV? It's The Bachelor. I'm not watching it though. What if I secretly like The Bachelor? How many hours a week do I spend making videos? Way too much, which is why I'm gonna have to cut that down. Madison loves a new logo. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Tim, it was a joke, I promise. Cameron says I should mail him my business cards. If I had Eric Electric stickers, I would give them to you. I give them to a lot of people, trust me. What do I think? Why? Do, what do you think of bodybuilding as a sport? And is body image just more for always a bad thing? Um, body image. Well, first I'm going to say, of course, bodybuilding is a sport. Just like competitive eating is a sport. Um, and body image, just any type of dysmorphia is always a bad thing. But then again, what may be bad for me or to me may not be to you. So I don't like using subjective terms. So. Make videos in class, serious. <laughs> Fuck that, man. I have so much on my plate right now. Oh. Obviously not literally, but. YouTube becoming my full-time job. No, that's never gonna happen, especially after what I was around this weekend. What I saw this weekend. Even the people that I thought had YouTube as a full-time job, like Brian and everybody, they have like other outlets that they, in my opinion, consider full-time jobs. So, like nobody really Apart from like a select few people I have YouTube as a job. It's YouTube is not like what makes people money. Um, Mackenzie, you're not ugly. Uh, Nathan thinks the Furious P is fast but slows down quickly. The thing about competitive you have to be consistent with it. You have to consistently keep training. And Pete just had some stuff happen to him, obviously. And um, that's what happens when you have to stray away from it for a while. So, eat a whole MRE in three minutes challenge. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is. Tim needs to up his food capacity. Tim, I'm gonna agree with you there and I'm not gonna make a joke. I'm not gonna make a joke. If I do come to you, I'm gonna, you can bet your ass, you can bet your sweet ass that I'll help you out with that.
no world class douchebag. You're not. You're not ugly at all. But then again, I am looking at a picture of me on your profile picture. So, <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't really say YouTube is a hobby either. I really don't know what to label YouTube as. To me, it feels like a second job. Shout out to Hawkage Noob. Hello. Hello, hello. Power, favorite power lifter is Dan Green, by far. Fucking Dan Green is a beast. No mention to Veggie Night tonight, please, guys. Oh, God. Please, no mention. No mention, no mention, no mention. I want to keep my appetite. Jason wants to know if I can do another eating disorder series, like transitioning into what I'm doing now. Um, yes, it's in the works. I'll just say that right now. Uh, Anthony Di Diego says, I'm still upset you didn't finish that big fat fatty challenge. I, I don't. I'm going to bake you a nine layer cake and expect it to be gone in 19 minutes and 31 seconds. Uh, I'm not really sure why the random time. And I'm also not sure why you're upset that I didn't finish the Big Fat Fatty Challenge because it's a insane challenge <laughs> for obvious reasons. If you want to go finish it, then by all means, feel free because you sound like you are ready. Sound like you're ready, bro. Favorite person I met at the at the Fit Expo. Um, I got to be honest here. I don't know. He's probably not watching at all. My boy Travis, Travis S. Super awesome guy. I swear, like Travis is. Travis is the man. Like I don't think people realize. So you guys can watch me. You can watch. Um, whoever else you're subscribed to on YouTube and this can go for actors that you watch on TV um, I mean any let's anybody you guys know what I mean but you never really truly know what they're gonna be like like until you meet them in person and um, I've always found like in competitive eating and YouTube especially, is that you always get polar opposites. Like, either you get somebody that's extremely humble, like modest, down to earth, um, that really like cares about what you're, you're, you're saying, what you're talking about, or you get somebody that is the exact opposite, that's a complete douche, and won't give you the time of day, just does not respect you, and, um, it's it's unfortunate, but that's what I really found prevalent in competitive eating, like I said, and YouTube. So, um, but yeah, I don't know why I just went on a rant about that, but apart from um, Travis, I would say um, Jerry Ward probably. Jerry Ward was fucking awesome. He's such a nice guy. He just retweeted, he just tweeted me, so that was pretty cool. Um... Damn chat too fast, guys. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Do not know. But yeah, I'm sure if you guys have ever had that interaction with like a celebrity or you know famous people, you would think the same thing. They're not always what they portray themselves to be. I did meet Christian Guzman, and uh, I have no shame, absolutely no shame, in telling you guys that he had absolutely, or at least he, he portrayed to have no idea who I was. Um, but it's kind of peculiar to me because so many people, uh, well, not a lot of people, but people commented on his page when I made my uh, cheese skin video, and uh, he responded to them. So that kind of makes me think that like, he was just kind of just acting like that, but I don't know. Don't care. 
it was funny, it was amusing nonetheless. So I laughed, I giggled. Um, okay, Zerain is getting banned. Good night. <laughs> How does one shit the fuck up? <laughs> If opposites attract, then me and Eric are perfect. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's nice and I'm well outspoken. <laughs> That's good. Um, what about Rick Piano? What about Rick Piano? Oh, Lou. Lou V says it was cool to learn about your old teacher. Interesting story about transformation. Yeah, I actually met up with my old um, teacher at the expo. He was my video film teacher. And he uh, was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And now he's like jacked, like absolutely just insane, like just tra crazy transformation. So um, I got to see him at the expo. It was really cool to meet him again. Should I or shouldn't get a membership at the Alpha Elite Gym? It's a few minutes from my house, apparently. If it's a gym, then go. Oh, why would that? I don't see why that matter. Good night, Nathan. Thank you for stopping by. Again, mad props on that latest video, brother. So, Christian, so CG. Is a real douche is a douche in real life and I never said that see people jump to conclusions I had I had a brief interaction with him and I don't think that judging somebody based on over an internet screen or even a one to two minute interaction is enough to call them a douche or a bad person or anything like that so I really don't know why people keep asking me what Snapchat is. It's like, it's Eric the eccentric. It's Eric the electric, guys. Rebecca, I'd build a snowman with you. Favorite store at the expo? There weren't really any stores at the expo. My favorite booth is probably the, um, obviously the Cellucorp booth, but PES. Because I stuck around there and hung out with Travis. Where did I go for my undergrad and what did I major in? Again, in communications, and I'm still getting my undergrad. No, I've never been to San Ysidro. Actually, yes, I have. How many calories do I burn in each of my rides? I burn all of them with a giant lighter. This is actually a better, a better piece, more pizza looking piece, as you guys can see. Because life, because life is all about pizza. Did I like Barbell Brigade? I love Barbell. Like Barbell, Barbell Brigade made me question my own personal gym. Like, now I want to sign up for a powerlifting gym. Have any of you guys have ever been to Barbell Brigade? Or haven't been to Barbell Brigade? I highly suggest you go.
I've seen you chatting back and forth with Chelsea Lips. Any collab soon? Um, well, we technically just did collab, but maybe in the future. Where can you buy the cinnamon Oreos at the expo? No idea. Probably your local grocery store. Carne asada fries and do a challenge? No, thank you. Carne, fr carne asada fries are not something I enjoy. Ever going to do a spicy food challenge? No, because I do not like spicy food. I do and I don't. I definitely wouldn't do it in a challenge. By the way, guys, if you ask questions in all caps, I generally won't answer them. It's really annoying. It's like that kid in class that always wants attention and like just shouts out random shit. That's usually, unless it's like a joke or something. Do I enjoy sour, sweet, or savory more? That depends on the food. Like if it's a uh, nine pound cupcake, I'm definitely gonna want something savory. Um, also depends on the mood I'm in. Um, all girls fighting over you, we can do a Bachelor Eric the Electric Edition. Yeah, right. All the girls fighting over me, sure. Uh, Brian Lopez wants to know how long I cooked my tofu for. I'm not, I'm not even going to be sarcastic here. I'm just going to say 45 minutes, oven, 425 degrees, any seasonings you want. Eric, I want step by step to make tofu. Your tofu looks amazing. Really? Does it? Does it? Guys, literally all I do is get my tofu. I remember I remember when I first started my vegan experiment thing, I would ask so many different people how, how to make tofu because it always tastes like shit to me. Now I'm like the tofu king apparently, which is cool. But like, you, I literally just cut it and then either put some oil on it or um, spray it down with not so cooking spray or um, olive oil spray and I put seasonings on it, put it in the oven for 400 and uh, at 425 degrees, 45 minutes, and boom, it's done. It's crispy. The key is pressing it to get all the moisture out of it. How to make an earthy electric video, ride bike, show leg, <laughs> eat lots of food, and wink every five seconds. Whoa! Not sure if I should be offended by that or not. Yeah, no joke, guys. I probably ate about 6,000 calories of just protein supplements this weekend. Like, I'm, pro I'm literally probably about three pounds heavier. It's okay. More protein equal obviously equals more gains. Yes, Timothy, I am yours. Just like this broccoli is mine. Tim, you had to take a shower? Well, I'm insulted, right? When you're at first expo vlog, you sounded ashamed when you said, I'm the guy with all the cheat tape videos. <laughs> no, it was actually kind of like, I actually kind of felt. I, I felt embarrassed that I had to identify myself as that, but like, 
that's realistically the only way Jerry would know me or my videos is because that's the, the first thing you see when you see my name that pops up on the right side of your suggested screen. For someone looking to do more cardio, would I recommend cycling or running? Ride a bike, dude. Favorite metal band? I have many. I would say my favorite metal band of all time. Hmm. Metallica. As cliche as that sounds, or as typical as that sound. What's my favorite non-dairy milk? Cashew milk by far. You're fat. Alice says, I'm fat and I want to change, but food tastes so good. Any advice? Learn how to cook food. This is exactly what I did at 16 years old is learn how to cook food that's healthy, that tastes good. Problem solved. And move more. Eric, your quads are goals. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wait, why does it matter? Remember Eric said that it wouldn't work out between us, and I was like, what? When did I say that? I never said that. Rebecca Mill, you're already my bestie, so don't don't worry about that. Shout out to Griffin who's in San Diego this weekend. How much sleep do I get per night? Right now, around four hours, five hours. Three point five hours. San Valentine's Day is getting closer, Mackenzie. You have to make make you fall in love before that day. Yeah, like I said in my last live stream, it's gonna be the first Valentine's Day where I'll be single for a few years. It's gonna feel it's gonna feel weird. Might have, might eat a few boxes of um, sugar cookies or something like that. How often do I eat junk food, including the cheat days? I do not eat food out of trash cans. It's against my morals. Eric, favorite pop tart flavor? Um, would have to be technically none because I hate pop tarts, but if I were. Sorry guys, that happened again. That happened again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't freak out guys, I'll be I'm here. I promise. I'm just gonna sit here and uh Pretend like nothing happened. You guys must hate me when that happens. I love when technology fucks you royally. Royally. It's not fun. I hate it sometimes though, guys. Oh, 
Have you guys ever heard of, um, I think it's called like You Now or something like that? It's like a streaming platform or something. I don't know. I was told about it. I'm thinking about switching over to that. Maybe it'll, it'll cure the uh, problems that I keep having with my uh, live streams. What do you guys think? You guys have heard of it? It's literally called like you. I'll have to look at my phone in a second. Oh, by the way, guys, right now, because I'm about to read Snapchats, definitely send your Snapchats to me right now. Because I'm unfortunately will have be having to take my leave of you all soon. I would love to read your Snapchats on the live stream. Because I love you guys. Food's actually hot. This is good. Send me those Snapchats, guys and girls. Snapchats. Snapchats. Hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah, it's it's really really annoying. I have to deal with these stupid ass crashes that I keep having. Um, okay, oh, I have eight Snapchats. We're all gonna make it. Uh, we have the first, um, actually funny, the first how many calories do you eat a day? Try to find any. Um... Oh, we are getting a lot of Snapchats now. 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah. Oh, my phone crashed, guys. I'm not serious. Um, 15, shit, 16, uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah. How do I motivate myself to work out every day? I don't because working out makes me happier. I don't need motivation. I know I'm going to be happier. Yes, it's called you now. So if you guys have heard of you now, let me know because I need help. Um, okay, so while I'm showing these guys, it's going to be that time where I'm coming to the last part of the live stream. So if you would post a question and I will uh, choose your question, shout you out and uh, give my best answer to it. And yeah, so first Snapchat is going to be coming from Betty, who's lighting up the barbecue. Periscope is definitely not going to be the ideal way to live stream. Stella says live stream versus homework. I guess I'll, I'll fail. Danny, too sick, too stick to stay up. Shout out to the live stream. Hello, Danny. Aaron says, greetings from Sydney. I feel like these people really aren't watching me. Hey, a subscriber right there. Says, it was dope meeting you. Shout out to you, brother. That was really cool. Good night, Timmy. Love you. Say hello to your mom for me. Oh, Bert. <laughs> yeah, it was a good burn. You have to... You have to Kind of admit that. Alice Carr says the chicken wings, the vegans love her. Kaylon Chung says you're on my TV. Wow, that's kind of weird, but cool at the same time. Lou, Lou says when Eric, wait, that was way too quick. Guys, it's definitely one second. I'm not going to be able to show you. Um, Justin Claudio, 
don't know why you're sending me chats. Melanie Hammett, Hamlet, Hammett says the cereal is fucking amazing. It's definitely a decent cereal. That was that was a little too sweet for my liking. I have a new cereal view I'm actually filming tonight. She's fucking amazing. Kenzie says my throat hurts. Please need help. That sounded dirty. Don't take that out of context. Griffin Smith says, mere mustache gains. I am. I wish I could grow facial hair like that, boss. Samia Sia. Cheers to the live stream. Donuts or cupcake? I would say donuts. Mere in that shaker bottle. Emily says, those pizza. Though. Shout out to Emily. <laughs> Tim, Papa, Tim. <laughs> shout out to Tim right now. Tim is the man. Tim is the man. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You have skills, man. <laughs> oh, Tim. Gosh, I love you, Tim. In a totally heterosexual way. Uh, last but not least is Joey. Shout out to Joey. Gaines. It's very fun watching the live stream. Sorry, not ready for me to leave Madison, but I do have work to do. Um, unfortunately, I have limited time. Um, so, questions? Do I eat Nutella? I do not. How many calories do I eat a day? Tim doesn't even lift. Do people notice me on the street? I wish. It's only been a few times. Do I think that YouTube for friendship, flirtation, validation compares to that based in the real world? That's an interesting one. That's definitely a. Uh, contender. Mackenzie, you're definitely not friend zone. I don't know why you think that. You can be as insane as you want in your snaps, Rebecca. Greetings from Germany. Greetings from America. Why can't I find any questions? You guys are just telling me I'm... Yes, Eric is gay. <laughs> Did I arm wrestle Piana? No. I told him to. I challenged him to an eating contest that he didn't want to do that with me. Bro, do I even lift? That's a good one. Belch for you guys? No thanks. I can't right now. I can probably fart for you guys, but I wouldn't want to do that. Would I ever make my own merch line in the future? That's in the works. Ooh, I saw a really good one. Saw a really, really good one. Shout out to Nathan Gleason who did the Blazing Buffalo Challenge at Beat Ups tonight. <laughs> Beat Ups. Finished in four minutes and 30 seconds. That was one of my first challenges I did too. I did that one in a minute and 42, I think. It was really, really good. Not to like stomp on your time or anything, but. Um, okay, I think I found it. I think I found it. And he's going to love me for picking his question. I kind of want to see what everybody else said. No, I don't see myself as being really bulky in the future. I'm over that phase. Well, when I'm old, when I'm old, I'm just going to do nothing but eat and do food challenges and attempt to ride my bike.
Um, how many calories am I eating on a normal day? Have I ever done a diot? All right, guys. So the question I'm going to answer is from World Class Douchebag. So shout out to you, buddy. And he says, what was the most surprising thing you learned at the Fit Expo about the YouTube or the fitness industry? <clears throat> um, this is crazy, and I know everybody, again, is going to just ignore everything I say, but it's okay. So the most surprising thing that I learned was how there are little... I won't say clicks, but groups of people within various, um, whether it be companies or um, uh, YouTube groups or just groups of friends, but how certain groups um, can like maliciously attack others and how there's hate, um, like literally like they hate um, like another group when they've never even met them before. Um, and I'm obviously not gonna name names or anything, but like just people are just such immature assholes and it bugs me because, um, you know, it's it's sad. Like it's, it's really sad to see people that like should be supporting another person and should be bringing them up, but they're like making fun of them, like mocking them in their face um, in front of other people. And it's it's really, it's, it's horrible to see. Uh, other than that, I would say, like I, I touched on it a little bit earlier, but I met so many awesome people that um, I watched on my computer screen for such a long time, and I met them face to face, and they are exactly the people that I thought they were gonna be. Like for example, Travis, I felt like I knew Travis S. like for years. Like I was able to have like such awesome conversations with him. We went and trained afterwards, um, and he's just such an awesome guy. And I really think you guys, if you guys haven't already, uh, go over to his channel, subscribe, like. He just he gives out so much information, um, and even bigger note, I would say the biggest. This is kind of this is going to be controversial when I talk about this, but so you guys know that there are many companies at the expo, and um, the people that represent these companies and that actually bring most of these companies' revenue um, aren't being properly taken care of. Like obviously, you're spending time. You're spending a lot of effort. You're spending so much out of your life um, money to better yourself and better the companies, and they can't even pay for a hotel room or they can't even pay for a flight. Uh, they can't pay for anything, but they have millions upon millions of dollars. Um, I saw so much of that at the expo, and it's so disgusting to me. And uh, I just wish people would be properly compensated, would be treated better. And there are some people within these companies that – um, work harder and arguably in my opinion than somebody that is being properly compensated that is given better treatment um, solely because they have a few thousand extra subscribers than they do or they have more of a following on Instagram or whatever it may be it's just it's pathetic to see so I would say that that is probably the biggest thing that I saw at the expo and um, yeah I just wasn't a fan of it I wasn't a fan of the uh, I was a fan of the expo, just not the, the things that I saw in that sense. So, um, again, guys, it was an awesome time. I'm going to get to work right now, finishing the uh, part two um, coming up. And uh, yeah, I do want to say, though, that the live streams aren't going to be as frequent now that I'm in school and now seeing my workload for the semester. But I hope you guys liked um, the last month of, you know, a lot of frequent or frequent for the most part videos. Uh, challenges I do not think are going to be frequent either but then again I'm probably just scaring myself right now I'm just really anxious and worried but i um, hoping that things are going to pan out well again thanks for tuning in guys to the live stream I'll be back again if I do get another break on Wednesday I will do one but I don't know if I will right now I might actually take that time to do a challenge so stay tuned for that stay tuned for the next video love you guys peace